Hi everyone, it's the 12th of February and this is the weekend video update. Uh, AS had broken this blue resistance, came back for a back test and it rallied within the golden original channel. You can see here that was the original channel and it's still on. Uh, the bounce off uh, Friday's lows was right at the bottom band and this was the fakey. So it tried to break and run, but it failed and fell back into it. Obviously, this was the news-related action. It basically raised all these gains and now bounced here. So what do we have is the green bull flag. This is like two touches on both sides. The black top band may hold another pullback. And without breaking the golden, it is going to get to that green top band and possibly push higher. The bearish scenario would be um, by, would be the break off the golden bottom band. Okay, that's not what I believe is going to happen. But yes, it is possible. Price action trumps everything. And if this golden bottom band breaks, and of course the green bottom band, then it's going to slide further down. But at the moment, the uptrend is intact. And I think there is reason to believe that we're going to go uh, further up. So we will watch this action starting tonight and tomorrow. Dow Jones had bounced off the golden bottom band. So this is a bull flag in the making, right? And moreover, this blue broken bear flag is getting broken back into. So that's also bullish, of course, because when a bear flag fails to deliver further down, and it bounces and it breaks back into the blue channel or bear flag, that is bullish. And the golden bull flags break, I think will also clear the red resistance rail. So there is that. If it can, if it can break this level, which is at 34,300, I think we're gonna keep on going. And this squeeze, this red resistance or triangle squeeze, is going to be a result to the upside. Um, NASDAQ is inside the black bull flag. So I'm going to show you the, first of all, a little bit more longer term. So this red bull channel that has that was broken a few months back, it came a few times for a back test. And it, this is the final back test. And it couldn't break back into that broken downtrend sorry uptrend that would have been extremely bullish of course to target at least the purple top band but that's not what happened at the moment it's stalled there um do we have a bull flag yes i think this year the black one with a few touches on the top and two touches on the bottom if it rallies and gets and gets resolved to the upside, then I think there is a chance for it to break that red resistance finally and get to that purple top band. And of course, that could become a major bull flag if that purple top band holds. So we will, of course, watch the price action very carefully if and when it gets to that level. Um, I don't see a very clear uptrend. I mean, uh, a confirmed uptrend. I'm going to try now. So this didn't happen. So this red uptrend right here, okay, that, that was the original one that was broken to the upside and it came down back in and its bottom band is broken. So NASDAQ, on the other hand, is slightly bearish because it has broken this red support. But if this black channel turns into a bull flag by breaking it to the upside, I think NASDAQ, NASDAQ is going to keep on running uh, all the way to 13,500. Russell bounced off the double support. Let's show it here. So this green broken resistance got back tested here. This was the bull flag, that large bull flag from November. It's been forming. And remember, we were long and I got just over, I think 2005, I closed that long. And I haven't been buying, I tried to buy just last Friday at uh, 1919. The previous long was also 1919. So maybe it's the lucky charm. And the purple channel is speculative. So 
bottom band is here, internal, internal, nice internals, nice internals, but the top band has only one tight. So this is only a speculative channel to the upside, but the blue one, so the, 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 it becomes a triple support if we assume the purple channel, but it's a bottom band, so the green resistance that was broken, that is a support now holding, and the blue bottom band, which is uh, a really nice bull flag in the making. Two touches here, three touches there, actually four touches. So one, two, three, four touches on the bottom band. And we bounced. So anything beyond um, 1950, I think, or just above it, would break that blue bull flag so that it could run to 2050. To me, the 2050 would be a very critical level because of this red top band, okay? So this red channel, you can see here, this is from last June. This is from September, October. Again, another October. This is September, this is October. This is the first touch. So if it gets there to 2050, we may see a big reversal there. So that's why, that, um, that's why I would be very worried that this entire major, so this red channel, may turn into a gigantic bear flag. It's very, very possible. So I'm gonna show you a little bit, just a second. Let's put it on the six hourly chart so that I can show you on the, in the grand scheme of like on the big picture, that red top band may turn into a bear flag. It, there is a chance. Um, so we have to watch 2050 very carefully. FTSE has climbed inside the blue massive uptrend okay and it had cleared this golden resistance that is originating from 2008 highs and i'm going to show you the eight six hourly chart in it first uh, and this is why i think there is more upside okay so this golden resistance was broken that's why it pushed higher it put a few all time new all time highs this red top band is at 8500 are we going to stay inside the blue channel and get there? Very hard to say. Impossible to say, obviously. Uh, but any, any bounce off the golden support or a previous resistance would be a long entry eventually if it gets there. Clearly it needs a, a big pullback by breaking the blue channel. But then there will be other options for an uptrend. So the top band would be here. Then the bottom band would be there. So I would be watching out for that kind of bottom band touch, um, but at the moment, the blue uptrend is still on. What happened last week was that it broke out of the red bull flag, came down for a deep back test, it rallied, and it formed this green veg. One, two, three touches here, one, two, three, four touches there, came down after breaking, back tested it, and it came down again. So do we have a bull flag? I don't see a bull flag here. Maybe FTSE after such a big run, maybe it's gonna start a little bit going sideways, maybe touch the blue. So I don't see a real um, setup here. So I would love to see a bull flag formation coming down and then a rally to the upside again. DAX is extremely bullish still for the for the long term because of the broken blue resistance right there and the back test was at 14,900 uh, last week's reversal this week's reversal came right at that red resistance that's the third touch sold off pretty pretty hard the red bottom band if it gets to that level I'm going to show you that one it is just over or maybe even yeah, 15,200. If it gets there and bounces, I would be a buyer. Ideally, if it gets there within a kind of a bull flag or a veg or something, and then a rally, that would be nice to, to as, as, a, as a bull flag, um, excuse me, as a bullish setup. So um, here, this is the 30-year treasury bond. It's back testing the golden broken channel right that that was bullish and of course it has to bounce off this level and break this blue resistance 
I've been set, I've been calling for that blue resistance for some time for a bullish um, um, action, but that's that didn't happen just, at least just not yet. TLT came down from the tr double resistance that blue plus purple. It has to break 110 for a rally. And this is the 10 year note. And this is disappointing because this golden channel was with two touches on both sides. It was broken. You can see it was back tested, but then it broke back in. And it even cleared the red bottom band. So that red bottom band was a potential support, but that doesn't look good. So 10 year note is not looking good for my from this point of view. And uh, let's have a look right here on the weekly i think it was more clearer that weekly chart is of course still bullish right so in the long run that blue bottom band touch bounce i don't think this blue bottom band will break but yeah i don't know if it breaks then there is also this one here right there from 1986 or so so this could become a support before it rallies higher. So it's just very obviously these are very, very long term channels. So hard to be extremely accurate on those. Oil, it had broken out of the golden channel, which is why we bought it. And it also cleared the previous blue resistance. So that was bullish, right? That blue support was broken. It bounced off the golden bottom band at the third touch which was also the green bottom band. So that one was 72.50, exactly from there it bounced, and it cleared the golden channel to the upside, and it has formed the red uptrend. This was Russia News cutting uh, production voluntarily. This red channel has to keep on holding and bring it all the way to the black resistance and break it. Is it going to do it? I don't think so. I think we're going to see it more downside a little bit and break this red bottom band for it to slide down. And obviously this green channel may turn into a bear flag. So anything beyond black resistance would look bullish. But at the moment, I don't see that happening. Similarly, Brent oil is still inside the blue downtrend. This is the major. The golden top band is the, the a bigger one. Yeah, this is a very, very big bull flag formation. First the blue and then the golden has to break for new all-time highs, and not all-time highs, new highs. But um, at the moment, this golden channel, right? This was also bullish, right? This red resistance is break and the red bottom band bounce, the green support. So this green channel may, it may turn into a bear flag if this golden bottom band breaks and that can easily break to the downside because it has three touches on the bottom and a few maybe two or three touches on the top so this is a mature channel and it could break to the downside and that would open the way for the green bottom band which is at 82 81 50. and obviously again as i said this green channel if it turns into a bear flag i think this bottom right in December will at least revisit those levels. So watch out for this green channel for a bear flag formation. Natural gas is looking good. And the reason is this bottom, so this previous lows at 235, right? That was what I marked a few times, 235. And the obvious support was the black one. Like this is a third touch, bounced, cleared the veg, and it rallied, touched that golden resistance right there. That's one, two, three touches. Then it cleared the bear flag, this red one, came down for a new low. It didn't touch the new low, but then it bounced off, and it's now breaking this golden resistance. So that is, of course, bullish at the moment for the short term. On the other hand, this blue resistance, I think, is going to materialize because this year three touches there two touches here and it was broken so this is going to turn into a resistance in my view um in my opinion right there and the re the real the value of that the level of that is going to be around just below 280 
2775 maybe and if it gets there we have to watch out for a reversal um, and there could be also this bear flag so this blue one one two three four touches and this could also turn into a bear flag for it to come down so nat gas is not out of the woods yet gold had broken this green support and it broke this bear bear flag which of course is bearish and the green bottom band will is going to be around 1840 or so and that's why i'm keeping the short i closed half of the short and i'm i don't like this kinds of action where it doesn't start uh, the next leg down fairly fast i mean it's can it's been here for a while and that's why <clears throat> i chose to close half of the position but my expectation that is going to come down another another 30 35 points and it would be a lovely lovely bottom out if the green bottom band holds and that would be a long entry clearly there is also some support level there right there you can see here right there that one okay if you want me to show it on a rectangle right there all right so we could come down here and then a rally and the level for that is 1830 on futures uh, silver is looking shaky so this silver chart is futures continuous chart and the green broken channel held here but it's not holding here and the blue support rail that internal support rail is also broken whereas <clears throat> silver uh, spot chart the red channel was broken back tested and this back test is i don't know it looks shaky i mean if it wants to rally it has to go from here otherwise there is more downside um but then the purple support is it's also testing the purple support zone um but the the real breakout will be this black resistance as you can see one two three that perfect three touches right on that resistance if it rallies and breaks this one that would be very very bullish to touch at least the golden top band right there that's a long-term potential resistance okay uh, platinum also doesn't look good and the reason is very clear that this green support was tested broken back tested and it came down and it's now forcing that blue bottom band to break this blue channel i was hoping that it would turn into a bull flag <clears throat> but it's not happening it's actually breaking that almost breaking that blue bottom band on the spot chart it's clearer that blue bull flag i mean the green one on on this chart <clears throat> it's green the green bull flag is already broken and it right there it's broken and that's why for me platinum and gold looking bearish silver yeah questionable so that's why um i would say metals are looking bearish let's have a look at euro so if if you look at the metals let me show you palladium as well and that looks also horrible because this purple bottom band was broken it got back tested right there and it failed to break back in and what happens is now this green veg that normally could break to the upside but now it's breaking to the downside and that would open the way for much, much lower for palladium, all the way to 1250 for further down. That's why I think metals are <clears throat> a little bit in trouble at the moment. Palladium especially is, is looking very, very bad. This was the chance for it to fake it and break back into the purple, but the bulls blew it. And that's why it's coming down. Um, so look at copper. Um, copper cleared this red support that I tweeted, I think, on the public chart, uh, public channel. And it's coming towards th uh, 397 or so. And it could slide down further to back test the blue broken resistance, which would be around 390. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me. If it wants to, let's say that could become right there as a, as a double support. If it comes down really high, very, very fast, and of course the green 
bottom band may hold to start a rally as well. So that green bottom band has to be watched quite carefully. Yeah, but the break of the red and this level, yeah, that was the breakout level for copper right there. It could back test, I mean, it could rally from here off the green and golden. And that's why I don't see a very clear picture on copper at the moment. I will be watching that price action. Let's have a look at Euro. That golden support zone is gone. Yeah, that rail is now broken and the red downtrend is driving it to the downside. As simple as that. And um, this spike to the upside may completely be erased. And the level for that is 105. Yeah, that's 105. It could come down all the way to 105 now. Pound sterling uh didn't touch that red black top band but it could i mean if it bounces one more time that black top band and then coming down further us dollar japanese yen is inside the black potential bull flag um but it's also inside the golden bear flag potential so quite a few things are in play at here the red downtrend is broken to the upside with some, of course, news reaction, but it is what it is. That golden is bearish, but the green support rail is holding, and if it breaks that golden top band, the next target is gonna be the green top band, which could turn into a very strong resistance. So I, again, US dollar, Japanese yen, we will be watching closely. Um, DXY, um, US dollar index, is back testing that green resistance, Anything beyond 104.20 would broke would break that green resistance, and it could get to that golden purple top band, and of course rally further. So this it may become a big bull flag. Of course, that would call 110. That would call for a minimum 110, which is which would be the reversal or gaining back all this spike to the downside. So this was uh, news related. And we could get to that 110 level if this purple top band breaks eventually. Kiwi is approaching that blue bottom band. So that needs to be watched. And if the blue bottom band holds and then breaks, that would, of course, be very, very bearish. Similar, Aussie dollar hasn't broken that red top band. So I'm going to show you a few agricultural commodities here. This red broken resistance yeah so that was support how there's resistance how there's resistance and it was broken and this blue support now coffee is above this red and blue double support and that's why i'm still holding one of 174 long and it's probably going to get to that green top band and then we'll see whether it causes another reversal there uh sorry this is wheat the big action uh lovely to see and i'm still holding long and i'm going to be keeping it this red gigantic downtrend was broken and it came for a back test for me i thought maybe this gap is going to be closed at 734 but the break out of the green bull flag made my day so this green bull flag excuse me blue bull flag was broken to the upside on friday and the real break would be by by clearing this golden top band so this golden channel is still a bear flag formation right this year anything beyond 800 or doesn't even have to go 800 anything beyond well 768 796 797 would break that bear flag to the upside and that would open the way for 850 900 um soybeans looking very good i posted this red resistance in the public chart one two three four and it was broken came back for a deep back test but it still managed to keep on rallying and it closed the week at a new high and that's why I think it looks very good. And the golden top band, together with the green, that is going to be just below 1600. That's the target for my long. I'm still holding the long. Corn, 
also looking very uh, promising. Uh, not as good as wheat or soybeans, but it cleared this green resistance and the golden top band may hold, pull back, and then the break to the upside may open the way for seven, 700. Again, I'm long corn from, I think, 656 or something, and I'm really looking forward, actually, because this blue channel is still going on. And I believe there is more upside, at least to 700. That black resistance, potential resistance, is the minimum target. Um, Cocoa bounced off the red support right there, that rail. And it had already cleared the purple resistance, came back for a back test, another back test. And now this blue channel right there is a bull flag and it could be breaking very, very soon. And that would open the way for 2,700. I'm not going to show the long term again because I showed it in the previous videos. Okay, now let's have a look at the coins. Not much happening. Um, Bit, uh, Bitcoin has to break the black resistance with a new high um, for more upside. But I don't see it happening just yet. Do we have an uptrend? Um, let's, let's try. Let's give it a shot right here. Okay. It could become so. Right there, this blue uptrend. If its bottom band holds, then we should see it rallying to new highs. Um, uh, Ethereum is also not out of the woods yet. My expectation is that it going to touch that blue, maybe come back down to 1355 and then a big rally all the way to the black top band. This could turn, of course, into a major bear flag, but it is what it is. I think the break out of the green at 1355 was very bullish with, with the target 1600 that I think it went beyond 1600. We could see a back test on the green plus blue double support level at 1350.55 and then a rally. Uh, Zcash is forcing this green resistance rail and it looks like it has a small bull flag here as well. It looks small but it's quite a few days, right? It's quite a few days so this could become, a, it looks like a consolidation. And if this res gets resolved to the upside, I think Zcash is going to rally at least the red top band. That would be my expectation. Uh, Litecoin is out of the blue. It cleared the green. The red one break, it didn't hold. So I'm going to delete this red one. But it's a clear cut bullish breakout. And uh, Doge is hasn't gone up beyond 11, 12 cents. And Matik is looking very good because it's trying to clear this green resistance zone. And it tried to break it, didn't, it fell back, but now it's still inside the blue uptrend, which was broken. I mentioned a few times it has broken back into the broken uptrend and that's why it looks bullish to me. Uh, Shiba is up 3% and the reason is very clear. This turquoise resistance was broken and back tested. The break, the back test was 120, which I posted. It's already at 132. So all these lines on Shiba, they are working. So this was the double support. The breakout of the golden channel. This is FTX fiasco. It came down the green bull flag and the turquoise. So Shiba is looking very, very good. Anything other than that? Solana is up 6%, but yeah, it has to break the screen top and properly, and it has to go beyond the red for a major rally to start. And Phantom, no, nah, I don't like it. Atom, Atom has cleared this blue resistance. That looks good. And Theta is at the golden, it has to get to that golden top band, maybe a reversal and then a break. But then there's loads of work to do to break out of the green bull flag. Uh, 
let's have a look at link link it has to yeah it's still inside the green and this could easily turn into a major bear flag all right guys take care keep in touch um i'll see you tomorrow